want me to get wretched. Niggas want me to with. Good morning guys, today is Monday the 25th and we are back with another vlog. This week is a very busy week and I kind of just wanted to take you guys with me. As you can see, your girl's hair has changed. My boyfriend wanted me to get these loose curls for a while now and I kind of didn't give him what he wanted. I don't know what it is, I was like proper in my dead bone straight long hair era. I still kind of am like I kind of miss this wig I'll put up a video with the like the highlights I don't know what it is I feel like it just suited me and I absolutely love it bone straight middle part and that's always been my thing middle parts always suit my face structure but anyway so this is a intro into this week's vlog and it's payday week as well so corporate girlies you know what that means so I'm gonna kind of start slowly changing my channel around and it's gonna be more about my corporate life and what it's like to work in construction as a woman in particular a building surveyor because that is what I am and yeah just kind of show you guys behind the scenes and educate anybody who might be considering or maybe have the thought of mind to get in construction there's not as much women in construction as you think in my building consultancy team there's only two female building surveyors and I'm the only one that's in London so I am surrounded by men all day but I do have some like construction vlogs and more behind the scenes will get uploaded on my social media so if you kind of want to see more of that like definitely go and check me out over there but if you're like here for the longer form content and with more details then definitely tune into my weekly vlog this is not going to be an every week thing because I, I kind of want to show you guys interesting stuff as well as like reality at the same time so I'm just going to do vlogs as I can but whilst giving you guys the content you guys need it quick backstory I'll do maybe more of an in-depth story later about how I got into construction and how I got into building today and quick little backstory when I was younger I always wanted to go into construction however I was so like brainwashed that it was a man's job and ended up going down another route hated it and ended up going in construction and I love it so that's a lesson learned for me but yeah that's just kind of me rambling a little bit let's just get into it Hey guys, so I am on my way to see a co-working space tour near my workplace. I thought I might as well just go on my lunch quick to kind of um, get a feel. I need something on the weekends because I think I've realised with myself, I've made my bedroom way too comfortable where now I struggle to do work in my room. So I feel like I want to get sign up to like a co-working space where they're a bit flexible and i can pay like a small subscription fee and basically have the access to a co-working space mm. i'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek but i've got a couple that of them that i'm calling <laughs> Okay guys, so I feel like I'm that type of person when I just see something I like I'm just sold but I'm I'm actually very very impressed with how that work and I feel like it'd be very very good for me because I feel like with work life which is the company that I just saw they really 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 encourage like networking and that is actually one of my goals this year to like really network with people and I feel like because there's so many businesses there, small businesses, big businesses, freelancers, everything, that basically gives me the perfect opportunity to do that. And you just never know who you can meet, which is why I feel like this monthly subscription is worth it. Obviously, because I still have a full-time job, I don't think it makes sense to get the full package. Two, they really get to know you on a personal level, so it's not like there's no separation between the staff and the people coming to the membership. Sorry, I'm just trying to not get a man over. <laughs> I love flexibility and I feel like it's really really flexible and they're open on weekends which is my primary need because I feel like for me I need somewhere to go about two days two days a week so I would prefer to go like Saturdays to go and get work done and be odd 
maybe day after the office if I've finished early. So yeah, I am well happy with that. So I'm literally walking back to the office. I don't know why the walk back seemed quicker than walking there. Um, so yeah, let's just get some lunch and eat at the desk and get my schedule of conditions all done. Yeah, the spec, I'm waiting for you to have a look at it. I'm going to hand it off tomorrow. Um, she, um, Steve done the snags for the first second floor, sent me over some photos, so I've got those. Yes, I did my first visit um, last week, Thursday. Um, yeah, it started on the that, that week, Monday. Was, was that the 18th? It started on the 18th. Yep. Every two weeks, yeah. So I'll do the second visit when I come back from annual leave. Hey guys, I am so sorry, I'm not gonna lie. I came home and I had stuff to get done in terms of client work and my personal project. And I literally completely forgot to pick up the camera. So I basically freshened up, I've gone to bed because I'm going to site early in the morning. I've got to do a handover and come back and finish that same report you saw me doing today. So it's just a very busy day tomorrow. I've got, especially because I've got to get this all done because I only have a three working day week and most of the stuff is due on the day that I'm not going to be here, which is Thursday because I booked an annual leave and then Friday's bank holiday. I'm just currently watching YouTube. I'm watching Algui. She literally just moved to LA and I'm actually like so happy for her. Like even though she doesn't know who the fuck I am. Like I only watch certain content creators stuff, but I really do like enjoy her content. And I would have to say like I am so happy for her. And it's like it's motivating to see how much she's grown. I'm just going to go hang out my laundry quick because I did do a wash. And I'm gonna just because I don't want it to be smelling damp. So yeah, this is good night for me. And I will see you guys on site bright and early tomorrow. Well, it's not bright and early. I'm gonna be there from 10, but you know what I mean, bright and early tomorrow because it's a two and a half hour journey. So see you
every other day I'm working from home, I'm in the office, which I catch trains in the office, or, and on the on the weekends, I'm with my boyfriend, and my boyfriend drives everywhere, so, I won't lie, I drive my car like two days a week, if that, like, if I give this week as an example, I went to the office yesterday, that was train, I'm going to site today, this is the first time I'm driving my car this week, I'm going to the office tomorrow, so I won't be driving my car again, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, me and my boyfriend's going to Birmingham, so I won't be driving, it's gonna be his car. So in my head, I'm like, I won't be driving the car, but my car will stay, like right now, I think it's on 26 miles per gallon. For me, that's motherfucking crazy, because I'm, I'm sure that like 140i's and M's are like are on them kind of miles per gallon. So why is my little 1.8 on the same miles per gallon as those big liter cars? I might as well get a big liter. Give me the three liter at this point, <laughs> it wasn't back. But I am, I won't lie, I'm looking, I am looking to change my car. Um, very soon because I have a dream car. Everyone, everyone knows my dream car. You have me on Instagram, and if you actually, if you don't have me on Instagram, now what's your problem? Why do you not have me on Instagram? Why, why are we not friends? That's the first thing. Second thing is, if you don't have, if you have me on Instagram, you know M4 G82. Mwah! <laughs> Brains on the fucking Hey, you know that car does something to me. Even the F series, like the F82, even the F80, F82. Just kiss. But me. I like my boyfriend's a performance guy, like he loves performance and he will buy the cars that he can like modify for best performance. Like he's into all that stuff. Like that's fine. Me, I love performance, but I love aesthetics as well. You can't blame me, I'm a girl. But like that's why I'll never get a Merc because Mercs are boring to drive, they just look good, like they're literally Instagram based cars. But me, I'm a beam up person because I like the thrill. Like beamers will scare the fucking life out of you, which is kind of fun but scary at the same time. And I kinda like that. So yeah, I'm a Beamer girl and I'm gonna get another Beamer. But yeah, if you don't know, my dream car is an M4 G82. I won't lie the car. Let's not even talk about the price because am I making that kind of money yet? Am I making that kind of money yet? But God willing, God willing, I will get that car. So guys, I've just landed to site and I'm literally about to go in. I, if you guys ever see how tight I've parked in this space because people don't have to fucking park. Well, I'm just literally trying to go in and out because I've got so much to do on my to-do list today. So I don't even have the time to just like faff about it. But let me quickly show you how fucking tired this thing is. Thank God I'm a slim bed. Like, can you see how fucking close that is? Like, I think I have to show you the door open. Like, look at that. That is how far my car can open. Look, I even hit the fence. Bloody joke. I really need my eyelashes done, but unfortunately I'm not going to get them done before I go on this trip. But anyway, let me go inside because the contractor is probably waiting for me. The guest way. Have you been in the guest way? I think last time I came, you was just finishing it up. So I've literally just finished the um, site defects inspection and I'm going to write up the report now just because I don't want to do it when I get back because I want to focus on the schedule of conditions reports once I get back. So add primary location. All of this is going to be done on the ground floor because um, if you guys would have watched my previous weekly vlog, you guys would have saw that we did the first and second floor already. So we're not going to re-snag them. They already sent me pictures of the snags that were flagged that have been completed. So now basically that has been written off and confirmed um, and sent off to the area manager so similar things that's going to happen here i've come today i've flagged up a few a few things you guys would have saw we was walking around with the contractor i couldn't really get any like pictures of me like snagging but it's literally like me and looking for any minor or major defects so how my report stuff get done you start off with a oh, should i actually record this and put it in no i can't bother so you're gonna start off with the primary location so the primary location basically is like a section of the whole building and then you dive into that section so 
in this instance we would do it floor by floor the primary location would be ground floor so when they read the report they will know like all of these floors all of these things are under the ground floor and then you put the second location so say for example the second location is ground floor flat two you would know the primary location is the ground floor the second location is flat two and then on the flat two you would put you would list the defects if that makes sense if that makes sense so that's kind of what i'm doing now so yeah with this one we basically i would show where it is so this is flat 14 so this makes them know that okay cool this is near flat 14 and then i would then sh then take a wide angle so look this is what i'm talking about this is the hallway framing that needs to be touched up it's so small you won't be able to see it on here but it's literally in this corner up here and then i will then take a close up so look you guys can see it that needs touching up it's it's like i said it's these minor defects these contractors are actually really really good so but people are kind of fussy and do want things to be perfect because they're paying for it so yeah that is basically how i take my pictures so today's lunch i have got a meal deal so i actually liked the matcha yesterday i wanted to try the pineapple one they didn't have it so i literally just got this um i was gonna go to starbucks but my boyfriend is trying to get me to stop spending money on starbucks basically <laughs> so i'm going to give the car look at her over there do you know what yeah surprisingly i do love her but at the same time she's got to go so yeah yes i'm in sliders because i don't like driving in my in boots always gotta get my receipt in order so that i can claim back so i spent 340 today so that'll be 384 eh? they usually give it back to you weekly so i won't get it this week it usually comes the week after so i will most likely get next week's this week's expenses paid next week friday which i like because some people obviously have to wait a while but um i do luckily get mine paid every friday <laughs> so as you can see i am back home i have literally just got my hot water bottle and i have a cup of matcha and i actually have started to take my free soul um fs green smoothie thing to help reduce my bloating i bought it purposely for that but then i stopped taking it and then yeah like my bloating's just gotten worse and i was like the whole purpose of you buying that was to reduce your bloating and when i first drunk drunk it i did actually see a difference so i won't rely if you actually want to reduce your bloating this actually works and the mango flavor is actually not that bad i haven't tried the original i've heard it's so disgusting that i'm not going to waste 22 pounds on it and then i it's so disgusting that i'm not going to drink it the mango flavor is actually pretty decent like it's bearable um not the sweetest thing but you can taste the mango but it still tastes like greens but it's just like it's got this hint of mango taste to it but i would recommend the mango flavors especially if you're trying to get rid of your bloating so i'm gonna drink my matcha first and then i'm gonna have that after and then i've got another bottle of water to go down after and i am motherfucking stressing out because i still haven't got my outfits for birmingham i still don't have my outfits for birmingham and my boyfriend's just like it's not cheap this is fucking deep don't ask me if it's that deep. I want to know I'm fucking cute. I don't care if it's just Birmingham. I am in the mindset of wherever I'm going, I want to look cute. I could be going down the road. I want to look cute. Obviously, it doesn't need to be all heels and that. I don't think I'm there yet. But I'm trying to look cute. Because you never know who you're going to bump into. Who can change your life. Not like that. Because obviously, I'm in a relationship. But in this world, what I've realised, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. And if you look like a bum, not to say... You're not the person I'm looking for, but why would I speak to someone with a bonnet on their head in a dressing gown and sliders in test? Like, do you get it? Like, what's going on? Where's that? I just want to feel more put together when I step out, which is why I invested in lashes. Like, even like, like this. Okay, cool. I'm not the dressiest, but I, I look put together. I've got my top on. I've got a cardigan. I've got some bottoms on. I could chuck on some trainers or even some shoes. Walk down the road and I look put together. Like, I look like I haven't just come out the bath. And that's kind of how I want to look. But when I'm going out, out, I want to look like premium. Like, I want my makeup to be looking like Gucci. Like, you guys have been seeing she's trending on TikTok. I need that technique from my face because I feel like if I master that, yeah, game over. Game over. But, like, what? Because it's about the products, but it's also about her technique because 
she pulled off the same look with drugstore products and premium products so in my head i'm like it's not really the product is it it's the technique and that is what i need to learn i need to and for my face and for my structure do you know what i mean i'm looking at my face and i'm like we're gonna make this work i shortlisted it to get the nars wrong wear my friend shot at me the other day like why the fuck do you not have it so i'm going to buy it and she told me to get the Too Faced concealer. Um, I looked at both. I looked at the price of both of those. The price for both could buy me a train, pair of trainers. And this is where, like, am I really a girly girl? Because I'd rather spend on sneakers than yeah. But wait, it's an investment. I look at it as an investment. If I want to be looking like Uchi with the technique and certain products, well, like five pound concealers don't exist anymore. But maybe this is why my face. This is why I be looking childish, and this is why. People think I'm younger than I actually am. But yeah, I'm going to go now because um I've got some work to do. So I'm going to love and leave you guys. And I will check in probably this evening. Hey, It is 7 p.m. 6.54 to be exact. I've just signed off because I really need to get most of that report done. So it's ready for review tomorrow. I would say it's about 80% done. I've got kind of tired to be honest. First floor, second floor is done. The warehouse is done. Um, I just need to do the roof and then it's, it's finished. So I'm going to do the roof first thing tomorrow because I'm going into the office. Uh, my productivity is a lot higher in the office. Um, especially because I don't have a separate keyboard and mouse currently so i have to use my laptops um trackpad and keyboard and i don't know why but it's not the best it glitches a lot but i think i do have a much more older computer because we are all getting new laptops basically slowly but it's starting with the worst condition ones first so i don't know i feel like mine's is like okay but it has its moments um and it's just frustrating me like i'm trying to drag things and it's just it's just been a pain basically so yeah i've literally just signed on because i have got a logo concept approved by a client so i kind of want to get that done i also need to script my video that i want to record for tomorrow to go out this week because i don't have a video to go out this week and one of my goals for march is to post four videos this month i haven't been able to do it since starting my youtube channel in january so i feel like this month i am basically about to hit it it's literally just posting that last video this week this weekend um i'm thinking to either do a notions tour again because my notions tour for my graphics my graphics business done really well it's probably my highest viewed video if we're not including shorts and long form video i should say i'm thinking to do another one i'll quickly show you guys my video ideas and you know this is a great feature on youtube and i feel like it makes sense but let me just show you so basically this is the so if you go to if you are interested in ever doing youtube um first of all do it because i procrastinated for two years and imagine where i would be right now so i am currently on 79 subscribers i'm so gassed because basically my goal was to get 30 subscribe not 30 get to 60 by the end of march but i've gone up 37 subscribers in the last 28 days which i am so ecstatic about you just never know which one's gonna go viral and surprisingly my short about um working in construction actually did really really well which is doing really really well on tiktok as well but yeah that's besides the point if you go to your analytics i feel like obviously this is kind of showing me so i tried to schedule out shorts and then long form videos as well so i literally and then look this is when i posted that short and it skyrocketed but basically you go to your analytics and you can just review analytics so it's so important but if you go to the research tab it actually gives you video ideas of what 
like the top searches are based on the videos you're producing so that's why i was going to do a notion template tutorial well i don't have a notion template but i was going to do a notion tutorial of like my personal one and then consider turning it into a template for those who are interested i've kind of done this video but i do have a client portal which i'm thinking to do another video which would be based around my small business so i've already got this listed on my creation i'll show you that i'll show you that in a second um list a productive morning routine because obviously i feel like with a full-time job like maybe people would be interested in that i've just been indecisive about that youtube basically suggested you all these ideas and then um you can ask i think you can show i think you can show see more i'm trying to see because i definitely saw a longer list than this the one that shocked me the most was this one productive day in the life of a black woman because it says here top searches the fact that people actually certain that i didn't want to put my race into it i didn't want it to be defined by my race in terms of content so yeah i kind of like this so all the ones that i've hearted are just like ideas that i'm considering so if we go over to my notions i'm so this is a sneak peek of my notions here if we go to my content create content planner yeah this is my content planner so obviously you can see here berms vlog with my boyfriend and then i got like these are just all these are just all ideas for different platforms i primarily only use this right now for youtube i haven't mastered doing it for um my short form content as you can see they're quite blank but for youtube so look if you look at here these are these are my published dates so you can see here this is published 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 and then like i've got recording dates so this is my recording dates tab so these are like all the dates i've recorded so as you guys can see vlog 2 is in the midst of being recorded i also have to record my birmingham trip which is going to be separate and then i want to do a monthly reset with you guys but i wanted to record that whilst i was in berms and these are like this is my goal for youtube is to get monetized basically so i reviews every single month and update so you guys can see about four percent but that was last this was last month so when i started when did i start when i started Mar march i was on 41 subscribers and as you guys have just seen i am on 76 and then i like to upload all my videos with the links and the thumbnail also guys i am currently trying out a digital version of my weekly to do i used to write it down in this book um however i have been so inconsistent with this i used to write my to do's out in here but i just haven't been using it and because i'm on notions every single day i thought i would try to do it on here so this is kind of what my week is looking at looking like i don't really have a to-do list for friday saturday sunday because obviously i'm gonna be on basically holiday but all the heavy work is like here this is more like my to-do list for my personal life and my my business so obviously i'm gonna start drafting up this client's logo in adobe i need to order my outfits i still don't know what i'm wearing so the fact that it even says order what am i ordering and i need to schedule my shorts that's kind of like the priorities for today so first of all i want to say like i'm really proud oh i've got the motion back <laughs> but um first of all i want to say i'm really proud of myself for how consistent i've been with this vlog and how detailed i'm making it so i'm hoping you guys are enjoying it if you guys prefer the shorter ones where i talk less just let me know and you guys can have that but if you guys do like the in-depth conversation and really get to know who i am then just let me know but yeah so why me and my boyfriend are decided to go burn me and my boyfriend have goals like individual goals and then we have goals in as, as a as a couple and one of our goals is to basically do stuff together more and based on our lives because we both work in demanding industries because he also works in construction it's just that he works in civil construction civil and building and construction are two different so civil is just basically everything to do with the roads he does that kind of stuff we both have demanded jobs he's got to be on site i've got to be on site we don't live together we wanted to make intentional time together because i feel like one thing with relationships you get so caught up in your own life that you can kind of neglect your partner and that's not what we want to do we have like just intentionally planned trips and yes we will be going on our first international holiday but we wanted to start off by just doing things so we started off by just doing activities and whatever we've done a lot of activities in london however we just kind of wanted to like have just like a city trip leave london i don't really leave london unless it's for work that's why we are taking a trip to Berm. that's enough of me yapping so yeah i'm just gonna go and get this logo design work done so i'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow hey guys so it's literally 10 25 and i'm literally about to get ready to go into the shower and stuff i overworked and yeah i usually clock off at 9 30 10 o'clock the latest and i'm clocking off at 10 30 and 
like if I don't get good sleep, I can't function. So I'm literally just gonna rush, go in the shower, and basically get ready for bed. But um, got a lot, got a lot done. Got a lot of my to do list done. I've still got a lot to do. I am still a little bit upset that I didn't get the schedule of works finished. And my colleague has been working really late because I'm still receiving emails from him at nine thirty in the that. evening. But he's a very hard worker, and I know it's because he's going on annual leave tomorrow. He's just probably trying to finalize a lot of his stuff. But he did send me an email, and it made me. It made me kind of feel, no, I don't want to say feel bad because I don't know if that's the word I'm really looking for, but he basically said, um, obviously we agreed to get the schedule of conditions sent to him to preview before we send it to the manager to issue it. And he was kind of basically saying that obviously based on our agreed deadline, obviously he didn't get to review it and basically saying that if I do need help, like ask, and I know he means in an out of a good place because obviously he's been in my position of recent but i don't know like i felt bad because i don't know maybe because i didn't communicate and i like he didn't cc in management or anything so i know it's coming from a good place but i feel like i don't know i don't know i just felt a little bit bad but if i don't know like why i feel bad i feel bad because like i get really upset when i don't meet deadlines in general especially but at the same time like you can't uh, control external factors and my director kind of let me know that yeah we do have deadlines but they can be like altered so don't put that much kind of pressure especially because i'm so early in my career it's important to acknowledge deadlines and it's good that i do have that mindset from now but at the same time like don't put immense pressure on yourself so i feel like when i first was like getting reports out i had this mad pressure to myself and like now I've kind of learned to take that pressure off. And that's with everything in life, to be honest, because my dad and my boyfriend told me the same thing, that I put too much pressure on myself. If I stuck to my normal ways, I would have put the pressure on myself to get it done. But at the same time, what would my director have said if he knew I was stressing about? And like my director is very thoughtful, like he cares about his team, he cares about his staff. Like he has chit chats with us every week. And that's one thing I love about my current job. But it's like... I still got me deadlines. I don't miss deadlines, but yeah. It's a lot of thoughts, but I'm just gonna get to bed. So I will, I will clock with you guys tomorrow because we are going into the office. Um. suspended but it is what it is the main thing we're in the office i'm cooling the fuck down i don't know who told me to wear black today but it is what it is so today's agenda i'm gonna pop it on the screen so let me move up way a little bit we are going to get through the schedule of conditions because we need to get that reviewed obviously as you guys know my colleague is on holiday so i'm gonna get my other colleague to review it before i send it to my manager that's me focus i got a lot of emails so I've got to get that done. And I've got a lot of people side bookings to do. Because my first week back, I think I'm going to be going to like three different sites in that one week. So that'll be a good week to vlog for you guys. But yeah, so I just came to give you guys a quick update. I'm in the office. I don't know if I can get some B-roll because I've got a full office. And I, if you guys are liking the vlogs and you guys are enjoying my corporate lifestyle, and then definitely hit up the like button. And we're going to go back to work now.
you guys what's popping so i'm literally five minutes away from my house it's about seven it's about 7 25 right now and yeah i went to tesco i got myself some snacks and i got myself a bottle of wine because it's the weekend for me baby <laughs> it's a long ass weekend for me and i'm just ready to go with my boyfriend tomorrow i stayed behind an extra because you're probably thinking why am i getting home so late i stayed behind for a little bit sorry about the lighting like i said i'm walking home from the station but i basically stayed behind because i, I need to get the report done and i'm so sorry like i can't just hand it off to someone or let someone else complete my work like i've been given a task like i'm gonna get it done so that's what i did i stayed behind an extra hour and i got it done and it's now going through the, the review process so i am i am well happy with that so yeah i've got my sennies and i got my echo falls if you guys also know i'm a bloody lightweight and i can only drink wine i have the odd spirit here and there but i just get fucked so at this point i just don't drink spirit alcohol i can basically only drink cocktails or wine anything of a low percentage that makes sense because spirits i don't know like the next day after i did like rain fu or hennessy it takes me like two whole days to recover i don't have that kind of time especially because i'm trying to better myself so i'll see from you guys once i get back home hey guys so i have been all over the place i need to get this logo done for my client and then i've got to pack my suitcase and then go to bed because it is literally been a long fucking evening like i've done stuff after stuff i recorded a video that's gonna be going out on either saturday or sunday i haven't decided yet i'm gonna see how much i can get done in the car on the way to birmingham but i basically finished editing that and i've literally just finished air dropping everything to my macbook and now i'm basically about to start basically this client's logo i am finishing it today before i go to bed because like i said the thursday i don't want any motherfucking work <laughs> Thank you. 